This Korean mid lane player won't give up on Diana mid. He may be the only Diana mid lane player in the world in Challenger. Season after season, they've been trying to nerf Diana. They've been trying to put it to the jungle. But this man hasn't give up on his love. His one true love, the Diana mid. And he's popping off with the champion. Rank 80 in Korea at the moment. I actually genuinely think broken strategy, easy strategy. You can definitely replicate this in your own, probably gold games, maybe lower, and climb some divisions. It's very easy. It's crazy to watch. Without further ado, let's jump onto the rift and break it down. Please subscribe to my channel, gentlemen. I just saw my grandma. She said, hey, Drew, how's the YouTube going? I saw you're not even at 500,000 subscribers yet. Mm, okay, grandma. Boys, please, let's prove grandma wrong. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. Hit that little sub, hit a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Jumping into the rift. Rune page in the bottom left. He goes phase rush, okay? Secondary, he goes shield bash. It looks for an aggressive trade. This phase rush, you'll see in the mid game why it's so important. As this matchup definitely is in favor of the Akali. The Akali counters Dina. Um, usually you want to be running this Dina into control mages if possible. Um, think of things like Victor. Dina has always been a counter. You can run it in things like the Syndra as well. And your goal in the early game is simply get that CS, get that first TP back, and then you start playing the game. Utilize the phase rush to try and dodge a couple of the skill shots, but in this early game, I don't suspect we'll see any um, solo bowlers in this lane. It's more of a strategy in the mid late game. Let's look at this spacing from Akali. Akali just got a buff in the mid lane for you that didn't realize it. She's super strong right now. Tough early game. As we get the EQ. Um, that phase rush, utilize it. Trade, come back out with the phase rush. Look, dude, that is already a really solid trade in the early game. He might even get, I don't, can he get a solo? He probably could. If he, oh, he'll hit level three first and then you could look for it, maybe. Oh, Akali just noses in front, gets level three first, now we have to respect it. That one minion there is level three. Dino wants to move back in for it. Gets it. Q gets dodged. CS leads slightly. And I actually, funnily enough, used to watch this guy's Diana, like back in season... I want to say season 8 or season 9, he was still playing Dino mid in Korea. And I always thought to myself, this guy's good. It's a shame Dino's trash. Because I used to play Dino way back when Skara... Was it Skara or was it Void Boy? We used to go Roa... Nash is Lich Bane and do split pushing for days, open the gates. Um, but then it just died off, bro. There was better assassins in the mid lane. A lot of mid lane assassin split pushes like Dino, like Echo, they all fell off. Introducing things like the Kiana, the Talon, the Lethality champions came in because the AP items didn't really benefit these assassins. So, this poor Lee Sin, you're gonna have to give away for two here. We are simply going to wait for that first base, like I said. He's going to slowly start winning these trades. And then at level 6... Oh, this Kha'Zix, dude. This Kha'Zix came to Os on, like, uh, pro teams. And he came and he AFK'd all my games. He was, like, the most toxic player on Os. Almost as toxic as MNS. Who we still despise and hope for his downfall. People always say, Drew, they AFK'd your games three years ago. Why do you still hold the grudge? I am a grudge holder. I will be a bitter old man holding grudge till I'm 100. I don't care. If you ruin my day by AFKing my solo key game, I, I will curse you till the day I die. I pray for C9's downfall. Um, anyways, enough about me. It's been a nice early game. I would say a couple of risky spots, but... It's going about as well as you'd want to. The level... Oh, oh, careful, careful. Base stop. I think that's going to get stopped as well. You don't need to go uh, mana items on Diana anymore. I'm expecting to see a Protobolt. He TP's top. Top lane TP. Gets the Dark Seal, gets Boots. Master Yi just Wing, let's see. Doesn't even get an assist! That's so unlucky. I like the play, we're gonna miss five creeps though. 
Level six is where we come online. I did do a diner review a few seasons back. There was an EU diner that went full damage with Lich Bane, if you remember. I don't know if he still plays it or if he's still high elo. I don't know. This guy's always been an advocator of the tank phase rush, whilst the EU guy's always been electrocute one shot. We need level six. We need level six. We need level six before the roam, please. Level six. Akali solo kills Lee Sin. It's a terrible day for rain. Kind of nervous this game. I really want. The mid game has to go well. Yes. E, Q, R, lands it, waiting, Akali hits level 6, E, Q, E, beautiful solo, beautiful solo, do you see how you utilize that phase rush, like you go in, you don't use everything first, you just weave the auto, you get every third passive auto in with the extra amplified damage, massive, hopefully we snowball off this, two stacks in the dark seal, you need TP on Dino. Because it, you're going to be split pushing in the late game. And then you're going to be TPing with flanks. Sork shoes have been rushed. In Korean solo queue recently, I have been... I've been prioritizing boots over anything on my first base. Because the number one thing in solo queue for me is being first to fights. If I'm first to a fight, even if it's a bad fight, I'm first. I'll win it, you know what I mean? So in Korean solo queue, if you start utilizing some of the speed, I don't. I just seem like I win more games. And so we go on a path down to the bot lane. Lee Sin gets a good setup. Q, don't take it. Lee Syndrome. Akali gonna get a roam off here. The Dyna just gonna shove in. Shove, shove, shove. Oh, she's gonna go for the plate. Kazix thinks he's found a... Blank angle, and we're just going to run that off. We do have ultimate. E, ult, phase rush, speed, flash. Interesting how he played that. Okay. He just lives because of the phase rush. Without phase rush, 100% dead. Coming back. 800 gold. Jeez, we don't have much inventory room. Ma I just realized we have a Master Yi top lane. My experience with Master, T Master Yi tops in Korea is dodge them. Dodge every Master Yi top you ever get. You might win, but you're not going to have fun doing it. As it's a dead even gold. This Akali just keeps perma roaming. The move is always to get these waves in and then go, okay? I see it too many times, you just go instantly, and you don't get this wave. You need to get this wave in, guys. You need to play waves in League of Legends. It's how you climb, trust me. How you climb. We get the wave, we have the speed. Hovering, hovering, nothing's there, he's gonna be too late. We'll have to come back in the mid lane. Has a slight level lead. What skin is this, by the way? I feel like Dynacues are weird on some skins. They You just can't really see the angle better. Like, you can't see the angle very well. Doesn't stop the base. Allows the Akali to go home, and that might be able to get a TP. This is Winter Blessed, apparently. So we are finally going to get the plate. Kha'Zix! Kha'Zix! You're not gonna be allowed to base that. No TP either. She's maybe gonna go with the Hextech Alternator and a Ruby, let's see. Hextech Alternator... Not the Amp? She's not here to screw around. She's here for damage. Almost level 9. Get that maxed out Q. Start looking for the picks. Looking for the fights. And I love Dynamid, dude. I thought it was such a shame they tried to shift her to the jungle. 
they try to shift a lot of these AP assassins because they didn't they, they lost their identity in the mid lane. So they they try to make champions like Echo, like Diana. Any other AP assassins, they try to shift them all to the jungle because there was no place for them in the lane. It annoyed me because I loved playing those champions mid. The bait, you know, the the, the Zhao Lai ban Echo. But they, they, they made them better as a jungler. They even tried it with Zed, didn't they? They tried it with Talon. They just don't want assassins mid. They they don't they don't want it. They want it in the jungle. Okay, EQ, phase rush. You often see him. He'll do the, he'll do Q E auto phase rush, and then he'll he'll space back, wait it out, and then look for another Q, and then wait it for the E reset. You'll see him do that often. He won't always just instantly go in. You'll wait the Q cooldown afterwards. Beautiful kick by Lee. Dina gets that kill. We are 2 0. Honestly, not the best start, but now we're starting to ramp up. Then we'll utilize the passive, we'll utilize the abilities. Dina takes towers so damn fast. Like, it's crazy how many tower plates you'll get if they take a bad roam or a bad base. EQ, phase rush. Yes. The movement speed, guys. If you had any other rune, you're dead here. You need the phase rush. Ooh. This Kai's are feeling a little bit aggressive. We're sitting on 1,400 gold. And the TP. This is big. Mm. Refuses to give a wave. Finally. After first item, if you play this, trust me, go to the side lane. What's he waiting for? Is it one more wave until he has a proto? He must be one wave off proto bot. Wait, he didn't get that. He didn't get that ward. Okay, now we base. Red buff is gone for sure, my brother. When do you? S oh my god, dude, that's not a nice little pick. They knew he was around there. And as always, guys, in the mid lane, if their sup is off vision, they are probably going to be in the mid lane parking up. Please, we need to get this base. We need to get this base. Okay, we're home. Proto belt. TP. Yes. I like it. Proto. Not quite able to get on top of anything. And I think the Proto is just going to surprise a lot of your opponents. Yes, Dana usually goes Proto belt, but like, it's just so important for the gap close to get the ER. I want to get a little bit of a zoom out. What's happening up in the top lane? Master Yi takes out. Oh, this could be a good dive. Master Yi takes a death. Rengar going to shove. She has all. Surely. Go. Proto. W. Q. E. Alt. Cancel the dash. Beautiful. Three kills. Looking good. We can probably take this tower. I mean, 100. Look how fast. Look how fast she takes it. When you use your abilities on Dyna, if I remember correctly, from the change, it gives you the attack speed. And you get so beefy with this build, by the way. You just feel really tanky. Challenger Dino player, this one, yep. Pretty much the only Challenger mid lane Dino player. I've been wanting to do a video on him for so long, like years. He's always been hovering Master's GM, 
And just never been able to crack the challenger until now. Looks like a dragon fight. I love champions that build pure damage and end up with 3,000 health. Yeah. Things like the Akali, like the Diana, like these these mage bruises that just... They get so tanky. I don't know if they're like, it's just their, their health per level. This Akali is going demonic though. It's pretty cringe. So we are going to take the dragon. Hopefully head into the top lane. As I said, from now on, it should just be 1-3-1. It should just be splitting, looking for TP flanks, looking for towers. Proto, ER, gets the Kha'Zix. I mean, that looks so easy, bro. And you don't even need the old you don't even need ultimate on Diana to get kills by the way. Like even like now you're still so potent. Cuz we uh, we have 1200 gold. I would love to see a Magi's. I don't know if he's going to go it. He's going to go for the Shadow Flame. Lame. Could have went for the Magi's there. Book book book. Gonna go for the Shadow Flame. You go Shadow Flame, Hourglass, Death Cap, Void. You could these, these are the type of builds you go on Dino. You can sell boots, get Lich Bane, things like this. Cosmic Drive is even good on the champion. And you get that double speed amp. Flash and TP both are not, but she's gonna make sure to. Oh. Pause, 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 pause. Q. E. Proto, auto. Look at the base numbers. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, if you find somebody and you will in your lower elo games, you'll find people walk up like that. Like, there's no way they can run. You will just straight up murder them. We have enough now to queue one shot waves. And this is where you take over the game. You are so strong on Dyna as we TP in. QE gets the one shot. QE dodges the Bardol. 7 0. I mean, this game just getting easier and easier for him. Yeah, I don't think you, you don't go Nash's on Diana anymore. You used to, but you don't do it now. The base AP is fine, and you get attack speed anyway. We go back to base, get the Shadow Flame, get the stopwatch for the Hourglass. And it's, it's, it's genuinely. Like the perfect team fighting champion from here. You ult engage, you have phase rush, you can maneuver, and it's it's almost Dino ult nowadays is almost as easy as getting a Malphite ult. You see the enemy stack, you ER. It's not hard. It's like such a basic. Like I honestly put Dino almost as easy as things like like things like Annie. Like it's it's such a simple champion. Just because it has a dash doesn't mean it's complex. It's very simple. As we... Should be able to take this guy down. Another E there. Take the top. What are we looking at? It's only 2k gold lead. Enemy... Their bot was doing well, but they're kind of ruined now. Ping's out for the top side wave. Oh, Akali, settle. You have made a mistake. She is fuming right now. Hopefully we can see a Magi's come out for the Diana. I want to see how much... I want to sort of show, like, you guys have seen the AP jungle Diana, so it's it's similar to that. But I just love it mid lane more because I just don't like my champions going to the jungle. Jungle Diana at the moment is fine. Especially if you have something like a Yasuo in mid, that's usually best. Um, but you don't have to, you know? 
It still works in ordinary comps as Kazix picks up a kill. No TP, remember? This Lee Sin. The double the, the Lee Sin Diana combo double dashes. This Master Yi, as per usual. They just don't do anything. Why pick Master Yi top? They just int and they just run it. And then you get one team fight win at 22 minutes. Korean. I I'm yet to see a bad Korean Lee. Well, he gives the kill over to the Diana. And we can see the Master Yi look to get these orders. His one his one kill. His one solo. Rain God, that's just embarrassing. I got that on film. And a lot of people think... Oh. Kazix is really balanced, by the way. A lot of people watch this game and they see someone fail flash or they see they say mistakes. Bro. I play in high low Korea. They run it down in so many games with misplays and mistakes. Like, there's just gonna be mistakes and bad, you know, bad games. It happens. It happens to everybody. I'm not saying that's what happened when I beat Doper and Faker. They played their best game, obviously. But people have bad games. Hmm. I'm like it might be a mistake to set up for that Baron. We got TP. We might have enough for our hourglass. Best macro here is so he has hourglass now. Best macro here is definitely go bot with TP. Send your whole team to Baron, and then if they. Overextend, you go straight down bot side for tower. If they look for the fight and you have a good angle with the TP, you look for the flank. Looks like enemy team has started. We have a perfect flank angle. Dino is going to come through. Bottle is massive. And here we go. Here's the montage. We're going to make our way through. Protobelt, EQ, R. Absolutely pops. Looking to get the Kha'Zix. Can you get it? Kha'Zix steals the Baron. We gets the Baron. We go straight for the Rengar. Are they able to get anything more? Kha'Zix kills the Master Yi! Kha'Zix is so broken right now, for those that don't know. I think he's, the, I, in my opinion, the most broken jungle in the game. Rengar goes down, though. Thank God. Takes him out. And I'll Diana. Still unkilled. 9-0-5. Still has the hourglass as well. They're only up 2k gold. The Kazix must be sitting on so much. Kazix on 10,000, Lee Sin's 9. Not that much. But the tower is holding them in. Even CS board near top. Yeah. As we. Usually for our fourth and fifth item, he'll go death cap, he'll go void stuff. At least in having some connection issues, and we set up for the next dragon. What are we on 400? Why would you base off that? Just to go the top lane wave. Push through. It's always hard to figure out Korean macro. A lot of the decisions are like are, are pretty bad. That base comes through. Over around the. We don't even have TP here. I don't know what's going on. Baron in four minutes. And here we go. We are caught here in the side lane. Kha'Zix finds a pick, ultimate, and we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. This is like... He didn't know where to go. You can level this. He didn't know where to go. He goes top solo. Lee Sin gets picked. 
And I just lost so many games like this right here. We take down the Kha'Zix, but at what cost? We give everything. Blue team has gold lead now. Blue team has gold lead now. Like this play against the Kha'Zix, you can never split against Kha'Zix in solo queue. He will one-shot you every time, 10 times out of 10. Rengar ultimate, Kaisi goes in. Definitely go for the tower. Poor Bard. I definitely, this game can go either way, 100%. Master Yi does have two items though, Mask Man. Another nice dodge. He's so useless though. But if he goes uninterrupted in a fight, Look, there's a chance if he goes uninterrupted in a fight, he could he could carry 100 percent Is it likely? Probably not. Okay, side lane, level 16. Maybe this time. Maybe this time it's gonna be better. Once again, Kazix think that this is what as soon as you show solo on a side, these these little bugs will just appear, trust me. We need to fight for the Baron in two minutes, the Dragon in two minutes. Priority, in my opinion, priority... Ah. What would you give priority to here? Third Dragon Infernal setting up for Soul in the five minutes and giving Baron? Or just go for the Baron fight because you back your 5v5. But if you lose it, you lose the Dragon. As Ezreal is picked. Oh my god. There's this one by one by one thing that happens in Korea. Once one person gets picked, the whole team gets picked. It's like they get mind controlled in. Because they'll 4v5 fight like this. Ping objective, ping objective. Dana has flash, Dana has TP. Can't side lane though, because the Kazix one shots. And we've been derailed in this mid game, I'm not even gonna lie. You land a five-man Dino ult, we're still going to win. But that's going to be tough. Enemy team doesn't look likely they're going to group and stack. It happens everywhere? It does, but more often in Korean high elo. As he wants to make his way towards the death cap, it's going to take a fat minute to hit death cap. If he does get it though, he will obliterate. Uh, so we're gonna get a mid lane fight. Okay. Lee Sin goes in. Do they pick? Oh my god. And Kazix finds the diner. She panic ults. Is it a disaster fight? Is it a disaster fight? Master Yi. Oh my god. Mask Man, save it. Save it, Mask Man. Please, Mask Man! Nice, he gets one. So what do we have? We have Dragon in 20, Baron in 20. Dyna has TP. They're pinging like they want the Baron fight. Kazi's gonna run over the wards. Oh, I like this. Kazik sings her on Baron. Yes. If you kill him, double objectives. Lee Sin Q lands. Baron into Dragon, 100%. Go, go, go. No Bard. Bard, 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 Bard. No Master Yi. Just get the, get the damn objectives. Oh my god. They're gonna get the Baron. They're gonna get the Dragon. Nice, good tracking. You just want to check the dragon. The Kazix is still 20 seconds, so take 4v5 every time. Hopefully you guys watching these videos learns a little bit of macro and how to play in your own games. Just watching these high level games and watching the mistakes. As Dyna gets a two-man ultimate, lands it. You can see it doesn't do like as much damage as you'd want. But because you have the phase rush, you just stick on them and let your team finish it up. Get 
Gets that dragon. Gets that Baron recall. Come on now. Looking for the Void Staff at 1500. The pros not build anti steel versus Master Yi. Anti heal? Um. Anti heal. Enemy team has no anti heal. Anti heal is kind of overrated. If you force to buy it on a champion that shouldn't usually buy it, like let's say I'm playing Zoe and I'm like, I need anti heal, I can't just build like an Oblivion Orb. It just ruins the build. You don't want a Morello at all. If you're playing something like Lissandra mid, yes, anti heal is very cost effective. It's easy to get it on the whole team. It's a good item. Like, you don't want to force on a champion that don't need it. Red team have it on the bard. It's fine. This Kazakh's still hunting for picks in the side lane. As we have Flash, we have Void Staff. I want to see what this level 18 Dino can do. Frodo to get rid of the Banshees on the Akali. Maokai ult. Lands. CC lands. EQ, phase rush. ER lands it. Gets the Maokai. And I think they're able to pick the Kha'Zix as well. Are they able to land one more, which might mean the game? Lee Sin goes down. AP Kaiser, baby. Almost full build. Is it endable? What do you think? Mid lane inhib down. Bot lane inhib down. Back up, reset. Look for top lane. That's ooh. Look for the, look for that play. Thank you. Otherwise, you're gonna get nuked by AP Kaiser. It's gonna be a tight game. Goldie definitely, and the map is definitely red sides from here. You have um, GA on the Ezreal. You have three items in the Master Yi. You have a great Diana. Looking like a teamfight wipe will be GG. But in saying that, if Kha'Zix finds one pick. And you're forced to fight a 45. Blue team, probably going to win. I was looking at my stats this morning. My red side versus blue side. I have a 65% red side win rate. And only a 53%. As I said, 4v5. Why my red side win rate is like 10% extra than my blue side. I don't know why. Over like 500 games. Has to be something. Has to be some type of data going on there. Are my champions better on red side? As we find the pick. Nice Lee Sin. Bardot lands on two. And we're just going to stick onto that Rengar. Finish the game. Long ass game, I'm not going to lie. We didn't even make it to Death Cap. Ultimate not quite up. Akali goes in. We flashy. We get that kill. Kaisa. Can we get the 13? Can we get the 13? EW? Oh shit, we're out of minions. Wait for the bot lane minions, please. Holy. I said desperately trying to stall for the Kha'Zix. Can he do it? 10 seconds. Diner trying to get it. Stopwatch. They finish it off. They finish the Nexus. The last Diner mid lane player, gentlemen. This is him in Korea. Phase Rush. This is his setup. This is his style. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Good luck in your own games if you want to use it. And I'll catch you on my next video. Good night.